gonna get a little x-rated i won't even be able to send this to my editor so if you are easily offended under 18 years old or my mother please click off this video we're gonna be talking about genitalia human fluid and the both of those things coming together to make some beautiful things happen sometimes this might get a little awkward too so be ready for the cringe. Mother, father, niece, brother, for the love of sweet baby Jesus, do not, do not watch this video. I have over a hundred videos you can watch to your heart's content and it's not this one. Still here? You've been warned. Hey ladies, I am so glad to have you here right now. I wanted to switch it up, switch it up. I don't give up. Today I'm gonna to share with you another passion of mine, which is not making money today, but not getting pregnant today. I wanna to start this video off by saying babies are a beautiful creation. I think we all recognize that nobody is trying to negate that at all here's a picture of my kindergarten class in taiwan i love children they give us life a reason to adult and for some people a reason to live but in many cases like my own you're just not ready to have kids right now or maybe you've already had your kids and you want to stop having kids and some of us just want to have a non-hormonal option today that's what we're getting into so just a little bit about my no pregnancy journey was when i was in spain i was 21 that's when i finally decided i wanted to try to adult to get on some birth control to really just regulate my period so i went to my doctor he didn't do any kind of tests at all he just asked me why i wanted birth control to which i said i don't want to get pregnant if I fall for a dude with no self-control. Oh, and I also want to regulate my period. And he just subscribed me this one birth control without any kind of test. I looked it up online and it was actually illegal, illegal in France. If enough women in France have died from this pill or had so many complications that they made it illegal, I don't want any part of it. I actually enjoy my life. So after that, I asked around to my friend, was taking this one, so I just went and got that one. And this one was not illegal in France, so I trusted that more than the other one that the doctor subscribed to me. This is 100% not recommended, obviously. I'm not a doctor, but I didn't feel good that this one was illegal, and he just prescribed it to me without any kind of tests. So I got on the one that my friend was on. I had horrendous side effects like migraines. My stomach hurt so bad I couldn't even get out of bed. I thought I was literally dying. I was dizzy, I was nauseous. I literally had the worst side effects that people, most people don't have. I had them, it was horrible. After that, I went back to the doctor and he said, don't worry about it, that's completely normal. You just gotta get to, used to it and then it'll go away. At that point I was like, okay, so this is how birth control works. It puts you in so much pain that you obviously don't wanna be intimate with anyone, hence why you don't get pregnant. Okay, I see how this works. I actually called up my neighbor and I was like, I need to take him to the hospital. I can't do this anymore. I'm in so much pain and I don't take medicine for anything. My neighbor was actually an acupuncturist. So he was like, no, no, I got you. Like, I'm gonna just put some needles in your belly and you're gonna be good. And at this point I was like, I'll do anything. Lo and behold, he put some needles in my belly, boom, boom, boom. And I was 100% healed, like no issues. The pain was gone, the stomach aches, like everything. And I was like, oh my God. And then he told me birth control is just, it's chemical estrogen. The body is almost like, doesn't recognize it as real estrogen for a lot of women. And that's why we have a lot of side effects. Not every woman, but a lot of women do. Let me know down below what your experiences on birth control is. Maybe my experience isn't that common, but it was horrible. I would love to hear what your experiences are and what birth control you are taking. So after that, I, re I did a lot of research on non-hormonal birth control methods. And the main method was pretty much just abstinence. Okay, as an adult, that's just like not that realistic. Like, I mean, if it is for you, that's great. But like, like if that's what you want to do, like that's cool. But if you don't want to do that, like there's no other options, like seriously. So I was pretty much just like, well, I guess I am not going to participate in any shenanigans with another male human until I'm ready to procreate. But then I found the daisy. It really changed the way I look at my shenanigans with the opposite sex and it puts me at ease and without getting a blood clot. I forgot to mention that earlier. I got a blood clot when I was on the original birth control. 
I, I do this now and I don't have the risk of getting a blood clot anymore and literally dying. It's not worth it to me. To me, it's not worth it. Due to an intelligent algorithm based on scientific research, long-term experience, and well-engineered technology, Daisy provides the highest quality reliability, precision in terms of fertility tracking. If you've ever heard of the family planning method, which is very similar to the fact that it's taking your temperature and you kind of figure out when you're ovulating, when your body temperature is a little bit higher, etc. However, you take out the human error when you have a bot doing it for you, which is what the daisy is. It's, a, it's an intelligent algorithm that actually learns your cycle, it learns how your body works. So the daisy adapts to each and every woman that it, it works with. So the daisy is technically not birth control because it's not affecting your reproductive system whatsoever. It's not gonna prevent you from conceiving a child if sperm were to get with the egg. However, what it does do is it tells you the exact days that you're good to go and the days you're likely to create a little human. A lot of women use this with the opposite way since, since it tells you when you're more likely to conceive a child and if you want to conceive a child, obviously on the days that it says you're fertile, you want to make babies. This 100% is not 100% catch all where you can do whatever you want, be reckless, and expect you not to conceive. However, what it does do is it lets you be aware so you're in control and you can make better decisions when you are wanting to be intimate with somebody. This is a 100% natural way to be in control of your reproductive system. It does that by letting you know when it's the highest chance that you're likely gonna conceive, and this is in a range of days as well. To, uh, to account for the five days that sperm can live in a woman's body. So all you have to do is when it says you are fertile is you avoid these days like the plague. And then you're good. So just a little bit of fun facts that I didn't really know until I kind of started this journey was that there's really only six days during your cycle that a woman can get pregnant. So within a month period, there's really only about six days that a woman can conceive. It's usually the five days leading up to ovulation and then 24 to 48 hours after ovulate. And this is only because, like I said, sperm can live within a woman for five days. It's very simple. It uses your temperature to track when you're ovulating. So every morning you're going to put it under your tongue and it will tell you you are green, a go, yellow, yeah, maybe not today, sis, or a red, return your ass home alone. So green means you're not ovulating and you're not in the range possible to get pregnant within that six day range. So if you and your partner are clean, you both know that you're monogamous, you trust each other and you want it to have intercourse without protection, he could in theory share his human fluid with you and you will not get pregnant. Yellow means it is still learning your system. Tread lightly, you could be fertile. You should be using protection just in case when it's yellow. Red means you are fertile. Jump ship, evacuate, condom, and pull out method. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's recommended to sustain for intercourse since you are in the fertile period, most likely to conceive. When it tells me I'm red, I just sit my little behind down, I shut the shades, and I do some class work or I film videos for you guys. Personally, I do not have a boyfriend, so green, yellow, red, purple, no male human is liquiding anywhere near my ovaries. So I practice safe sex every single time. However, if you are with a long-term partner, you're monogamous, you're both clean and safe, then with the daisy, it'll tell you essentially what days you can go without the barrier if you wanted to, and you know you are safe to because you're not fertile. So just a little bit more of facts about the lethal phase is the final portion of your cycle. And this lasts for about 12 days. This is when your progesterone rises to your ovaries that it doesn't need to produce any more eggs for the month. So because of that, your cervix mucus is gonna now start to dry up and kind of prevent like a plug to prevent any additional sperm entering the uterus. This is why it's very, very, very low chance of you conceiving when you're outside of this ovulation fertile period. However, you can still get pregnant 24 to 48 hours after ovulation. But this is already pre-calculated within the daisy, so they account for this. So when you're green, you're green. You're not in the 24 to 48 hours after ovulating nor before that. So I've been using the daisy for about six months now, and I have had no issues whatsoever. Here is the, you just click it right now, it's blinking purple, which is saying just to stick it under my tongue. So as you can see today, I'm green, so I could 
partake in shenanigans if I wanted to. I'm not going to. It allows me to feel secure and be at ease if I decide to take that next step with someone. So in the beginning, Daisy will have to learn about you and your body chemistry. For me, it took about three weeks for Daisy to learn how my body works. They also have an app that you, that is integrated with the Daisy. You can track everything on there. It, it can be really, really helpful. So if you are interested in getting the Daisy and as a non-hormonal option to just be in control of your reproductive system, I will leave the site in the, in the description below where you can get all that information. It does retail for $330, which is way less than child obviously which is about two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars over the course of their life and then it's obviously cheaper than buying birth control every month for the next 30 years so three hundred thirty dollars it's a one-time one-time fee there's a lot more information obviously on their website about scientific research on it so i do recommend you check it out yourself and also do your own research do let me know for real your experiences on birth control and maybe even some non-hormonal options that you have looked into i'm definitely always interested in learning some other ways and just sharing this all in the community knowing that if you are struggling with birth control you're having bad side effects that there are options and you're not alone all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye